Okay. So the tipping standard in the United States is anywhere from 15 to 20 percent in a restaurant. Um, so we're going to be looking at how to calculate the 15 to 20 percent so you can tip appropriately when you go out to eat. So the first example, we're going to say, okay, at Applebee's, <coughs> your bill was 15.97, let's say. So that means like you went out to eat with your friends, you split the check and your portion is 15.97. Um, you're going to calculate, or we're going to do this together, but 15% tip in the total, 18% in the total, and then we're going to calculate 20% tip and the total. So you get to decide how much you're tipping. You could do like 15% for like okay service or good or like great service. Or you could even tip higher than that. It really depends on you. But tipping lower than 15% is kind of rude. Because <laughs> they have to, um, out of their tips, they have to pay the busboy and everything else too. So to find 15%, I don't know, if, did you get a calculator or no? Okay, I'll show you over here. So if you take 15.97 and multiply by 0.15, that's 15%. Um, but if you were to write that on your paper, you, with cents, it's only two decimal places. So we're going to call this 2.40. So $2.40 would be an appropriate tip for a bill that's $16. And then the total, you would do 1597 plus 240. So 1597 plus 240 is 1837. So if you order a meal that's like $15, you have to make sure that you actually have closer to $20 to spend on that meal because once tax is added in and your tip is going to be higher than actually $15. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. 18% to leave 18% you do 15.97 times 0.18 and we get this number which you wouldn't write that whole thing. We're going to be 2.87 so $2.87 And then 1597 <coughs> plus 287 is 1884. Then for a 20 percent, the 3.194. But because we're talking about money, we just write 3.19. And then you add those two together. $19.16. Cool? Yeah. Um, also, if you add this wrong, the server can only take what you wrote as on the total line. So make sure that you're adding it up right so that way it's fair to your server um, as well. And, okay, so next example is, okay, we go to Brio. Have you been to Brio? At Brio. It's like an Italian restaurant. Your bill was $34.92. So we're going to leave 20% the total. And then we're going to do it two different ways. Rio, you've been to Rio? See. <coughs> oh, really? Oh, cool. Where are you at? I understood her. 
Yeah. Well, not in Spanish. Her Spanish is hard for me to understand. Yeah. Oh, in the kitchen? Yeah, your Spanish is hard for me to understand too, Brianna. But it's hard for me to understand. But like Colombian, I can understand a lot better. Or Venezuelan. But you're Dallas, you're Venezuelan, aren't you? Oh, Cuba. Oh, that's why. Okay, because her accent is hard for me to understand. But like Omar in our seventh grade, I can understand like Douglas much better <coughs> and Ronald because her accent's like clear. Yeah, I don't know if my Spanish teacher was like learned Spanish from Colombia or what. I don't know. But Colombian Spanish, I find it easier. Okay, so twenty percent, so thirty four point nine two times point two zero is this number six point nine eight four. But we don't put the four because sense only has like two decimal places. And then. Then we add this, 34.92 plus 698, 41.9, but if you put just 41.9, people think you're stupid. Don't put this. That's because you're sitting in the back. Where I got the answer key if you want to do it at the same time. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to start teaching you a shortcut way because you don't always want to break out your calculator on a date or something. That would be kind of like cringe. Um, so I'm going to teach you a shortcut to figure out the tip without having to break out a calculator. Cool? Okay. Um, so we're going to be trying to leave a 20% tip. Something you can do is move the decimal over one place and that'll give you 10%. So 10% would be 3.49 or like 350-ish. So 20%, so that's about 350 we'll call it. So 20% you just double that and it'd be $7. So 20% tip would be about $7. And then you can add these up easily. Let's see, one, three, one. Yeah, 41.92. So we did almost the same work as a calculator, but we didn't have to use a calculator. We did it all in our head. Did you understand that? <coughs> Philip, can you take off your headphones? Lacey, take yours off too. Take off your headphones. You can't hear anything. Okay. So I moved the decimal over to get 10%, but I want to leave 20%, so I just times 2. This times 2 is that. Hmm? 30%? Well, normally we leave like 15 to 20 in a restaurant, so that's why I went with 20. Yeah. Okay, next, last example we're going to do before we go through that. PF chains. PF chains, and your bill is $122.75. So, like, your whole family goes out to eat. So, 20% total. 20% total. Okay, so... With a calculator, I'm going to do 122.75 times 0 0.20, $24.55. And then add those together. One hundred forty seven point three. But don't leave it as point three. You'll look crazy. I'm gonna put a zero. Okay. Then to do it in our head, so this we use a calculator, but to do it in your head, move this over one spot so we get twenty 
12.27 is 10%. And then to get 20%, you just times 2, $24. $24. And I rounded. So I just rounded this to 12, 12 times 2, 24. And then you can add these two numbers together. Um, no, you're not. Mariana, wait. Wait till I'm done with the instruction. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay. If you are ever working in a restaurant and Mariana doesn't tip you right, I'm sorry. I tried. If you're having a restaurant and somebody's serving you in the class and they don't, you don't tip them right, I tried. Okay, that's how you do it. Got it? Okay, so we're going to flip to the other side and try them here. But, like, when you're doing this at a restaurant, you're not... Oh, what's that? I'll go back after, afterwards. Here, I'm going to zoom in. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so here it's saying the total is twelve thirty six. So if I move this over one spot, I get one dollar twenty three cents. But that's for ten percent, and I want to leave twenty. So I got to double that to get two forty six. So I'm going to leave two dollars forty six cents, and then add these two together. You could do it on paper or use a calculator. Twelve thirty six. Plus 246 is 1482. So that was 20%. Okay, so for this one, $100. If you move the decimal over one spot, you get $10. So 10% would be $10. So 20%, if you double that, would be $20. So we're going to leave a $20 tip. And then add these two values. And then for your signature, um, something that I do is when I'm signing something at a restaurant or like, I don't know, or even at a ca like a cash register, not cash register, like for a cashier. I don't use my full signature. I'll just use my initials because I don't really want the restaurant staff to have like my full signature. And I only use my full signature on things like a mortgage, applying for a credit card, or like voting and stuff like that. So I only put initials. You could do that too. You could not do that. Whatever works for you. Okay, over here. Who's calling? Hello? Hi. Um, no, she's not here today. No. Yep, no problem. Okay. This one right here. So move it over one spot. Five dollars seventy cents is ten percent. So to get twenty percent, you double that, so it would be 570 plus 570 would be 11.40. So tip of 11 dollars 40 cents. Then add it. Get 68.40. How do I box it? I guess you wouldn't box it really. Hmm? Not that much. No, Mariana, you just came back from lunch. If it's not emergency, but you have emergencies every day, you should talk to somebody about that. Concerning. Okay. 3052, it's hard to see, but it says 3052, so move it over. $3. $3 would be 10%. I don't know if you're getting this because you guys aren't really responding. 10% would be $3. 20% would be double that, which is $6. So $6, and then we got $36.52. And then just sign.
Okay, this one, it's like a $2,000 bill, almost $2,000. Um, we have to make sure we're tipping appropriately. So move this over. 10% would be about $200. And 20% would be $400. So we're going to add $400 to this. $2,369.69. Okay, next. $48.34. Move the decimal over once. We get 10% is $5. 20% would then be $10. Okay, move this over. So two dollars, ten percent would be two dollars. Twenty percent would then be four dollars. Okay, for this one, 10% would be about $1, and 20% would be $2, two dollars, so 47 11 Okay, over here. This side? Okay. Here, this one, eight dollars times two, sixteen dollars. Ninety-seven plus sixteen, And then this one, three dollars times two is six dollars. Thirty-seven ninety-seven. Okay, this one, move it over five dollars, about five dollars, so double it, get ten dollars. This get two dollars, so four dollars. Twenty five seventy one. Okay, that's all. So make sure.